Okay, so let's do the quickest what's in my bag video ever. So this is my phone, it's the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I always have the latest iPhone and this is just currently the model. I got the Pro Max because I wanted the battery life. So if I go ahead and show you my home screen, there it is. I've made a whole video about this. So I'm not gonna talk about the home screen right now, but you can kind of see what apps I have on there at the moment. Then for audio on the go, it's the AirPods. These are the normal AirPods, the ones that just came out last year. So the third gen ones, I think they're really fantastic, sound good, are super convenient. And for me are better than the Pros because the Pros stick in my ear and those just don't feel as comfortable. And while I do enjoy the noise cancellation, the convenience of these guys is much better for me. Moving on from tech, we have a wallet. So this is the Herschel wallet. I forget exactly which model it is, um, but I'll put a link in the description. Uh, basically has a pocket in here for my office card. Uh, I've got some driver's license, medical card and credit card up front here. And there's a little zipper where you can put a little bit of stuff. I have a few dollars cash in there, but yeah, that's my wallet. Then there's keys, <laughs> the most exciting part. Um, keys to a 10 plus year old Hyundai, um, some house keys, a multi-tool that I use for mostly just cutting things open, <laughs> but it has a screwdriver and stuff on there as well, um, and a bottle opener. So that's a nice little thing. And then I have an air tag that I don't really use for anything. I've never had a use for it, but hopefully one day if I do lose my keys, this will be helpful in finding them. And that's everything for my pockets, but if I do bring my bag with me somewhere, I'm gonna bring the iPad along for the ride. I like this one, this is the 11 inch Pro from 2021. Um, I like this specifically because of the 120 hertz screen. I could get by with the Air. I made a video last year about how I was happy with the Air and it was the right iPad for me, but it turns out with all these swoopy animations and everything that iPadOS does, I really couldn't get used to the 60 hertz again. I couldn't go back, so this is what I currently use. You can see my home screen here. Made a whole other video about this, but it's my go-to tablet, my go-to computer really in general outside of video editing. Uh, I also bring the Apple Pencil, of course, because love the Apple Pencil. Then there's the Magic Keyboard, which of course is always with the iPad. Uh, mine's a little dirty. The case just gets dirty over time. There's really nothing you can do about it, um, but I really like it. I think it's really satisfying to type on. Absolutely, for me, it's an essential accessory to the iPad. Two more things to go here. You gotta have fun on the road, and that's where the Switch Lite comes in. This is the one that I've got. I've got the yellow model, and it works great. I haven't really felt the need to look for the OLED, which I can't even get anyway, because it's not in stock anywhere, uh, but you can see some of the games that I've been playing recently. Um, yeah, I just really, really love the Switch. It's an absolutely fantastic device. Super Mega Baseball 3 is the game that's really hooked me recently, but yeah, absolutely love the Switch. And finally, the product that I love but is hard to recommend to most people, the AirPods Max. These guys are absolutely fantastic. They're worth the price, in my opinion. Uh, I was worried they wouldn't be any better than the $300, $350 competition out there. But in my opinion, they actually are, especially if you have a lot of Apple devices that you'll be using with them. This case is stupid. I do not like it, but it is what it is. I am accepting of the case, given the other benefits of the AirPods Max. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.